Hola, my name is Daria and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to do <laughs> something very fun and I'm not expecting anything from it but I'm going to be shocked if it's going to be like something resultative but <laughs> I recently visited IKEA and this came right at my side and I was like I can't pass this one okay I can't I just can't it's going to be a mistake to do it and so I bought it it wasn't very expensive it was like 250 rubles which I think is somewhere like four dollars let's just open it together because I haven't opened it I only saw a couple of speed paints on YouTube with this it's 100% polyester and it has some wooden like it's a real wooden uh, type of handle and I think it's aluminium type of connectors. <laughs> yeah, it's aluminum, made in China. IKEA Mala. Okay, let's just open this up together. Today it's like an unboxing day for me. I'm filming like the second thing that I unbox. The set comes with six brushes. Three that are like square type of shape and three that are like more slender type of rounded brushes. So what I thought initially once I started to watch it through like the actual packaging, this brush has a bad type of cutting on the edges uh, and for this price of this set I don't think it's a very bad thing but it's just something to keep in mind but from what I see right now the other brushes are having a good cutting and I'm very interested to see what will be with these three brushes once I will wet them so let's just do it right now let's wet them but before I'm wanting to say that it's a real wooden handle and it looks really 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 beautiful I like this the only problem Problem that I will personally have with it I'm going I think to make them dirty kind of very fast because I am a dirty type of artist but yeah I shall just go ahead and show you how they look wet okay I'm going to start with the rounded brushes these are just so stiff right now the only brush that is not stiff is the small okay let's just start with the small one. Oh, and I also don't like the fact that these are white <laughs> Okay, this small brush looks like this. It still has it, this like thin type of tip, which I love. This is what we have with second brush, same thing. Thin type of edge, which I love. Really nice, I like it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the large. It has a very huge amount of glue. Like this is like my initial thought about this. Yeah, this also has a thin edge. And right now I'm going to wet this just to show you how these are in wet. This is the middle one. They already started to tint from my dirty water. <laughs> then a large one. To be honest, these are very soft for the price. I like how they are. And the small one. So my first initial opinion, my first impression on these after unboxing them and making them wet. These are actually cool. Like, for the price, these are soft, they are looking kind of fancy. The only problem I have is that you can make them look not nice very fast. I personally, that type of dirty artist who uh, can just control if my hand is in dirt or whatever. But in the end, we shall see how they are actually washed, how many bristles are coming off once you wash them and all these type of things once you try to make them clean and if they will actually become cleaner if I will wet them after working. But right now we are going just to go ahead and do some art with them. So yeah, let's just dive right into the art. So my overall thoughts and feelings about this brochette is very very good. I used it only with watercolor because I feel like watercolor is that type of material that needs some particular brushes for it to work. Of course you can make all and every single brush work in some way for watercolor, but I tried to use this whole set as I use my regular brushes. And on regular basis I use either synthetic brushes that imitate natural bristles or squirrel brushes. And so I really liked to work with this set. 
And uh, of course, mostly I loved those rounded brushes because no matter how many times you dip them or you leave them in or, or you try to make them weird out in their shape, they tend to stay that type of thin edge with which you can even work on very small details. And for this art, I also used one of my favorite papers of the moment, that is Spot and Tate Rurer watercolor pad. And the size is not very huge, and the figure that I drew, particularly Rihanna, is kind of small in scale for this little format of paper. The format of paper is like A4 regular one, a little bit smaller than A4, because Patentate makes those type of pads for a bit of smaller sizes than regular A4, A3, A5, you know? And so I was able to work on small details really, really easily without any effort with those brushes, and that's what I really, really like about them. The only problem that I still see with these brushes is that you need, first of all, to really really good to wet them because once they are dry they tend to become those rough type of glued brushes but once you wet them they are pretty soft pretty nice but still dense which i like i like my brushes to be dense especially when i do my works on cellulose paper and second problem which is more obvious but i will figure out if it is solvable or not is that they are as i said before pretty pretty easily becoming dirty and right now i just think we're going to finish this art and go into my bathroom to see if it's possible to make them clean so after trying to wash these brushes i can totally say that they are very hard to become the same white as they were when i bought them like if you are doing like very thin light layers and uh, you want them to be the same you can just wash them every single time after you use some paint but realistically thinking i won't do that and the bristles will become dirty f like from scratch from the first painting from the first art i know my mistake might be that i washed them only after a day of using them so i wasn't washing them the same day i was doing my art maybe there's also a chance that if i will use some special mediums it will come off of course i will try that one out once i will get my hands on those mediums but by now from the regular conditions and from regular terms of my life while using just soap and water it's very hard to make all the paint to come off so my final verdict about this brush set is that it's really really good for the price and i feel like if you want some some cheap but very good quality brush set that you can use both for watercolor and some other techniques like maybe gouache or acrylic you can definitely go and try this one out because it has a good variety of sizes and shapes in it for the price so i can really recommend it for you to check out and that completes this video thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another one. Bye, guys.